Hello, I'm Dr. Adam Shiner, and today I'm going to talk about why does makeup make women appear more feminine? Take a look at these two photos and consider which one is the man and which is the woman. What did you decide? Did you say the left appeared more feminine and the right appeared more masculine? These were the findings of many people who took this test. What were the factors that made you determine which was the man and which was the woman? In actuality, this is the photo of the same person with different color contrasts in the eyes and mouth region in these two photos. These photos were from a scientific study by the Harvard psychologist Richard Russell. He studied the sex differences in the facial contrast in men and women. In these photos, he darkened the eyes and lips in the left photo and lightened the eyes and lips in the right photo. This was to prove the point that the degree of facial contrast in a face contributed to the relative masculinity or femininity of a face. It turns out that men in general have fewer differences in the contrast in their faces. To say it another way, men have less color throughout different parts of their faces. Women, on the other hand, have great differences in contrast in their faces and more differences in the color in different parts of their face. This is especially seen in the region of the eye and mouth. Women have more natural color to their lips as compared to men. Women intrinsically know what I've talked about before, which is that people look at the mouth and eye area first when doing another person. These are the two most powerful areas of the face for nonverbal communication with the outside world. This is why women intrinsically seek to highlight their eyes by wearing mascara and eyeshadow, and their lips by wearing lip liner and lipstick. By adding color to these areas, their faces are perceived by others as being more feminine. Take a look at this woman with makeup on and without makeup on. Which appears more feminine? The increased color of her eyes and lips stimulate the nonverbal messages sent to our unconscious brains that assess beauty and feminine attractiveness and cause us to see the right photo as more feminine. This is another case of our subconscious brain being hardwired to find certain facial features and ratios beautiful. I discussed this concept of our subconscious brain before in a previous segment of Adam Shiner MD TV called Perfect Proportions, The Meaning of the Boxes. As a specialist in facial rejuvenation, I like to concentrate on treatments that help optimize a person's appearance in the eye and mouth region. I do this because I have studied how the brain sees another person's face. I want to help optimize those key areas that make the biggest impact for my patients on the way that other people see them. Although my procedures can help people with these two parts of the face, women especially can help themselves by wearing makeup that increases the contrast between their eye area and the surrounding skin, and the lips and the surrounding skin. This will make those areas a greater contrast and therefore make a woman's face more feminine in their appearance. Sometimes, though, makeup isn't enough, and that's why people come to see me. Understanding deep brain processes, like the one demonstrated in this example, and the way our brains processes the faces of one another, allow me to take advantage of this knowledge and get results which restore natural balance to the face, and leads to results which are powerful, yet subtle. My patients report that other people comment on how great they look after my help, but can't exactly put their finger on what changed. And it's the secret my patients have the prerogative to keep to themselves or share with others as they like. If you need help restoring, revealing, and reclaiming your natural beauty, I'd be happy to be of service to you as you travel your journey toward facial rejuvenation. Thank you for tuning in to Adam Shiner MD TV. I hope you enjoyed learning about ways I help people restore, reveal, and reclaim their natural beauty. Please check back for more discussions in the future, and please share this with your family and friends. Goodbye for now, and I wish each of you a beautiful day.